to solve the Sudoku by Sam Kaplan lines called rings. You can see these compact patterns in the two corners and the open space in the other corners. Having instructed other patterns like this before, one of the things to look at are going to be in these channels for things like triples. I'm actually seeing one set right here, 457. Do not map with 823. So these sort of all come in like this, but to even make this simple without the notes, 2 and 3 are already up here, so the 8 goes for sure up top. Um, you'll actually then see 823 is also a repeated triple down here, as is 457, but we can do better than that. In this case, we have an 8 in this middle space, so this 8 is going to come all the way across and have to be in one of these cells. Puts an 8 here and a 2 there. And looking at 5 and 7, 7 is the digit I've got, but 7 is going to be somewhere here, which means 7 is above, 5 is below. Finishing out this box, 1 can only go in the middle, 9 on the bottom, 6 on the top. It gives us 2, 4, 5 coming across here, and it gives us 8, 9, 6 in the other row for that triple, and that has to have 6 in the cell because the 8 and 9 are a pair. Um, let's do a little more tracking of just some of the either-ors we've got, because what we'll see is we've got some digits, like this 7 and this 5, both have to be up top over here, and that might prove useful. The 7 we actually have just two spots for, and the 5's all the way there. 4 has to be uh, in this bottom space in one of those two cells. We have 2, 4, 5 left over here, so one thing to observe now is actually probably this whole column, which is 2, 4, 5, 7. So the first thing I see is there's only one space for that 7 left in that column. Still seeing 2, 4, 5 in this whole space, as well as in this space. Uh, I have 4 and 5 to the left here, so this is where that goes. I still have 4 and 5 to place, but 5 is in this node over here, so this is a 4, this is a 5. This is a 4, and this is a 2, finishing out the space. So again, just looking at these mostly complete columns. This 2 and this 2 work together to give a last 2. One last space for a 7 in this box. We have 5 and 6 to finish it. The 5 moves a note over here. Last space for a 6, last space for a 6. We have 1 and 9 uh, in these spaces. But notice that now this top row has just that spot for a 9, which puts in this 9, this 8, this 8. The 8 comes across and marks this. It actually means now there's a 7-8 pair, so 9 is below, 5 moves over. Last space for 9 will be one of these cells. That 9 puts in a 9, puts in a 1, puts in a 1, puts in a 3, puts in a 3, puts in a 2. Uh, we've got some more to go. Maybe one thing to do is to mark some of the notes in this box, but 347 isn't unique. 256 has just this spot for the 6 from digits up above, so that's about all we can do with that. This is 169, and that just has a set of singles, so my guess is we're going to have to do something in the lower left box, because nothing else right now is, is actually forced. And so let's just mark in some notes and then figure out if we either have a pair. So ones can only go in these cells, two can only go in these cells, three can only go in these cells, four has a lot of options, five has a lot of options, six is one of these three, is that helpful? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. 7 is any open space. 8 has just these two options. And 9 has the ones we put in. So there is no pair that I'm seeing just from two digits, but there are two cells that could be potential singles. This doesn't see 5, 6, or 7, so that's an issue. But this does see 5 and 6, so this is a naked single 7. That gives us a 4, sorry, 5, 4, 7 over here. Um, one of those should... Now propagate back, here it is, the 7 gives us 7, gives us 8, gives us 7 as well. This now is 3 on the left, 4 on the right, that 3 moves this 3. All these 4s mean this has to be a 4, pushes a 1 down, pushes an 8 over. That 1 here means 1's up above, means 9's down below, and 6 is in here, so 6 with 5. Uh, 9 puts in this last 9, that 5 on the bottom row puts in 5, 5, 2, 2, 6, and we finish the grid. So a challenging puzzle for a Wednesday, but again, it, it really, based off the geometry, had places where we're looking at these leftover triples. We saw sort of 1, 6, 9, 4, 5, 7, and 2, 3 banding sort of coming through here. So repeated triples in the space. They're not fully repeated going uh, horizontally, but getting that set of triples and thinking through a careful constraints in these columns got us the upper right. Doing uh, essentially uh, my either or note additions in the lower left found us a spot where there was a single cell that had a naked uh, single in it, uh, four seven in the spot. So some different tricks that were useful to get through to the end. But if you were
good to know who solver should have had no problems with this puzzle and if, if you did have some issues hopefully this video gave you some tips for the future we'll see you again soon